October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and despite all the good we see in and around the Treasure Valley, it's a part of life that too many Idahoans and Americans face every day. This morning, we introduce you to a Boise woman who knows how domestic violence can ruin lives and is now doing what she can to save them. It can impact your dentist, your mailman, your the store clerk. I just think we don't realize that domestic violence really truly touches every single one of us. And the stats don't lie. If you haven't personally been a victim of domestic violence, you probably know someone who is. One in four women and one in seven men will be a victim at some point. One of those women is Boise resident Kristen Ryan. Despite the trauma she's endured, she now chooses to look at the bright side of life. Understanding that going through those traumatic experiences gives them some gifts. And it's more important to tell the story of their future and learn about those gifts that they have been given through those experiences. And as a domestic violence survivor, she's not just giving out advice without taking it herself. I thought back to what it was that brought me comfort, temporary comfort, and oftentimes it was using beauty products. It's a thought that never left her. Three years ago, I thought, I'm gonna start my own beauty company, and I started with skincare products. That's how Paige Ryan Beauty was born, as Kristen hoped that her products could bring the same comfort to others as it had wrought to her during the worst times of her life. However, before one penny was ever made, she knew her small business was going to make a difference. Every time someone makes a purchase from Paige Ryan Beauty, they are part of the giving campaign because um, a portion of that purchase goes towards a nonprofit foundation or an individual survivor. With one business year officially in the books, she had to make an incredibly tough decision. With so many to choose from, which deserving foundation would receive her first annual donation? Well, I've done my research here in Boise and I absolutely love um, the tools and services that foundations like Faces of Hope um, offers through one door to those targeted individuals that need their help. I would like to present a thousand dollars to FACES along with giving some of my products to your clients in Hope's Closet. Um, I hope that it brings a level of comfort, temporary comfort for your clients and makes them feel pretty. Thank you. Thank you so much. Can I hug you? Yes, of <laughs> course. Thank so, you. Thank you for all that you do. So to have a local business offer some amazing products to give to our clients. I just, I think that means so much because our community is so generous and so wonderful. It means a lot, we, we take care of one another and that's what I love. For Kristen, it's been a triumph over tragedy outcome, giving this new small business owner a different outlook on life. Giving in, in how humanity is here to serve others, that's our purpose. And though Kristen's story is hopefully an inspiration for those with similar stories, there are so many people in the Treasure Valley and beyond who are in terrible situations and they might feel helpless. And if you're able to help any of these victims in any way, whether it's during Domestic Violence Awareness Month or anytime, check out this story on our website that I'll be posting at IdahoNews6.com for links to Kristen's products and some of the wonderful centers helping victims.